This book is Stalebred Charlie and the Razzy Dazzy Spasm Band. It is written by Michael Mayen and illustrated by Dawn Tate. Its original publication date was 2018, and this book relates to Ninth Ward because they are both set in New Orleans. You've probably heard of jazz music, skibbity bibbity bebop, and all that. You've probably heard of country, twang a lang a tang a lang. What about spasm band music? Sing taka taka scat a pat scat. What do you mean you never heard of that? Well, considering that one of the most famous spasm bands of all time was formed by a bunch of kids, I suppose I better tell you about it. In 1895, the New Orleans neighborhood called Storyville was a perfect place to live. You were an alley cat. It smelled like trash and looked like trouble. But to steal bread, char Charlie, and warm gravy, it was home. Get out of here, you rascals. Stale bread and gravy liked to take their food to go, but sometimes they didn't take it fast enough. The boys were hungry, and they had no money to buy food. But coppers don't care why you steal, just that you do. Truth is, stale bread and gravy hated stealing almost as much as they hated being hungry. What else could a bunch of homeless kids do? Stalebred found an old crate and sat down to think. Across the street, Trombone Bobby bobbed a bright beat on his brass horn. One corner over, Guitar Jim wove, wove his bluesy music high into the sky. And somewhere into, in the middle, Pearly Joe rolled out a rag on a righteous piano. They say music feeds a soul. So, Stalebred was starting to wonder if music could feed his belly too. Gravy, we'll start a band. We'll never be hungry again. Of all Stalebred's dumb ideas, Gravy thought this one was the best. That is the dumbest. Start a band, asked Gravy. We don't even have instruments, unless you plan on playing that stovepipe. Stalebred picked up the pipe and gave it a quick shine. Why, this ain't no stovepipe, Gravy. It's a megaphone. It is? Now I sing, now I sing. Can you hear me when I sing? I can, said Gravy. I can, but what am I going to play? Gravy joined the alley cats, rummaging through the trash, but all the, he found was a tin can. Stalebred always got the good stuff. He kicked the can hard. It bonked a beat across the street and stopped at Stalebred's feet. Stalebred picked it up and filled it with pebbles. Tell me, Gravy, can you play a can? Gravy shook a shook a it and said, I think I can, I think I can. So Stalebred started singing and Gravy started shaking, and they both started razzling, dazzling, and especially spazzling. But no one liked their music, not even the alley cats. Whoever heard of a stovepipe player or a tin can man call themselves a band? You know what you need? A kazoo, a kazoo player, like me. So Cajun jumped in with his co-made kazoo. No, no, you're out of key. Wait a second, listen to me. What you need is a penny whistler who can stay in tune. Here, let me show you. So Monk joined in with a sweet so-so. Then came a cigar box fiddler and a washboard whiz, and a kid who played spoons like it was nobody's biz. They were starting to sound like a band. Now I sing, now I sing, can you hear me when I sing? Yes, we can, they all said. Yes, we can. It wasn't long till they earned their first tips. Most of them went like this. Get rid of that razzle, dump that dazzle, and please stop that spazzle. Nobody had ever heard music like this, and apparently nobody wanted to. Good for nothing, kids, cried the copper. I catch you again. It's off to the big house. The boys scampered to safety. So much for the band, and so much for never being hungry again. They were back where they started, except now there were seven of them to feed instead of two. Things had gone from bad to worst. We're hungry, stale bread, said Warm Gravy. What are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do, but I can tell you what we're not going to do. We are not going to go to bed hungry. Stalebred led the boys down to Mac's restaurant and saloon. Didn't like stealing, but they were hungry. What were a bunch of homeless kids supposed to do? The shopmaster didn't even notice them and stole Stalebred, reached for the bayonets and started snapping his fingers. Before the shopmaster could say a word, the band followed Stalebred's lead and jumped in. Now I sing, now I sing, can you hear me when I sing? But the crowd said nothing. Stilbert swallowed hard. Maybe everyone was right. Thought maybe this band is a dumb idea. Maybe we we're just a bunch of silly kids. Stilbert wanted to run and hide, but he did it. Instead, he said louder. Now I sing, now I sing. Can you hear me when I sing? Again, the crowd was silent, but not for long. Yes, I, yes, we can. The crowd cheered. Yes, we can. Play it again. Play it again. 
One song turned into a hundred as Stalebred and the boys played their night away. The crowd loved the razzlin', the dazzlin', and especially the spazzlin'. Most of all, they loved the music. It bumped and bopped and jumped and stopped, then started all over again. Even the alley cats bounced their bums. That night, the boys filled their hats with coins in their bellies with beignets. But mostly, they filled their souls with music. Their music. It wasn't long till everyone had heard of stale bread, Charlie, warm gravy, and the kids that were calling themselves the Razzly, Dazzly, Spasm Band. Even the most celebrated actress in the world came to hear them once. Their name was famous, which is why it got stolen. But don't worry, the boys and I stole it back.